Today we're going to turn a string of LED M5 lights um, into multiple strings. So these are LED Christmas lights from Big Lots. These are LEDs. For you guys that are going to bash me later saying these aren't um, LEDs, these are just regular incandescent um, Christmas lights, these are LEDs. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you the proper way to cut the string and shorten it so you can have two or three strings. Again, these are M5s from uh, Big Lots. I buy all my Christmas lights after Christmas so I can get a discount. So what you want to do is find where in the string is it two wires. So as you see where the plug is, the plug wire has two, a positive and a negative. Power and ground. So then we're just going to go through the string and find another place where there's two wires. There it is. Easy enough. So take your wire cutters, clip it. There. Now you just turned one string into two strings. The reason I do this is a lot of times when I'm trimming the house, uh, I only need about a seven foot run. So I can, uh, I can buy a string with a hundred lights and I can usually get three seven foot runs out of it. It works out good for me. So I'm using just a regular um, uninsulated butt connector or barrel connector and I'm just crimping this onto the copper wires that I had just stripped off. So now I'm taking a piece of heat shrink and I'm sliding it over one and I'm going to take a bigger piece of heat shrink and slide it over both. Now I'm going to put a new um, receptacle socket on the end. That way um, when I hook these up to my house, I can go, I can plug one end in for power and then my next string can plug into these. So where I, where I use these is I take uh, a three-quarter inch piece of PVC and I run it through the table saw and put a, a line just to cut down one part of the PVC and then I pry it open and I stick all my wires inside the PVC and the only thing sticking out is the lights. <clears throat> it makes it a lot cleaner when you're looking at the house. So I'm lining up my shrink wrap now I want to make sure that those two butt connectors don't touch each other. And then I'll take my heat gun and I'll melt the, uh, I'll melt the heat shrink around the wires. This will keep you from uh, getting electrocuted at Christmas time. <clears throat> so there we go. Now we have a shorter string of lights and I always mark all of my light strings with whatever color electrical tape the light string is. That way when my when my lights are inside the uh, PVC I know that at the end, at each end, I have a red. So I do, in the PVC I do red, white, blue, and green and it really makes the house look a lot cleaner. So I'm plugging it in, there you go. So there's M5 lights. I did the same with blue. Same exact thing. And we can plug that in and see that it works. Awesome. So 
So here I'm attempting to pull one apart. That way I can just prove to the naysayers that uh, this is definitely an LED. But I'm too much of a wimp to um, pull the light apart. And that is actually a master. So you see how wide that is? Um, it's better that you don't rip that one apart. Um, they don't give you spare masters and if you destroy it then you have to fix your uh, bulb. Right, there you go. There's your LED. When, when I say fix your bulb, um, the masters are always the opposite direction. So if you take a regular LED, take it out of the little socket and flip it, you can plug it into the master and your light string will work again. Thanks for watching my video. Good luck with Christmas.